In the last two 90 seconds episodes, we covered phishing trends and breach trends for 2019 based on F5 Labs research. Check them out in the playlist. This time, we thought it might be interesting to explore what happens to your data once it's been compromised by a phishing attack or data breach. So let's start the clock to see where your data goes once it's stolen. Often, it ends up on the so-called dark net markets. This criminal underbelly of the web is where people buy and sell access to illegal, banned, or restricted items and services. Here, stolen information can be incredibly valuable. For example, 23 million credit card numbers were stolen worldwide during the first half of 2019. Cyber criminals can either resell the stolen card numbers to other crooks or use them to buy gift cards they can later convert to cash. The data from a single credit card can be sold for more than $45, so large breaches can fetch a lot of money. However, the real money comes in when personal information and credit card info come together. With form jacking, the digital equivalent of card skimming, attackers get not only the credit card numbers, but also personal details, which makes the credit card numbers a lot more valuable for resale. Automated card testing allows attackers to verify the validity of the data, allowing them to command higher prices since they will claim that each credit card number of personally identifiable information was recently tested. Thankfully, if your credit card number is compromised and used fraudulently, you're typically not on the hook for that money. If you suspect your credit card number has been stolen, report it immediately and keep an eye on your credit reports. F5 security researchers will continue monitoring new web application exploits to deliver the latest threat intelligence and share it with the broader IT security community. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching. Hey, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time on 90 Seconds of Security.